NASCAR is back. We as NASCAR fans are accustomed to watching cars racing on the track every weekend. The last two weeks, as the teams and drivers took off for the summer break, seemed like an eternity for die-hard NASCAR fans such as ourselves. But the wait is finally over. We go racing this weekend. So let's catch up on everything that happened during the summer break and what to look forward to as the season resumes this weekend. Just as the summer break began, Spire Motorsports made a shock announcement stating that they will not be continuing with Corey LaJoy as their driver for the 2025 season. This came as a shock as LaJoy was considered to be the team's biggest asset. Just a few weeks before this announcement, the team signed championship winning crew chief Rodney Childers to lead the number 7 crew for next year. It was assumed that LaJoy would be driving that car, but now the team will be looking for a new driver. And we're looking to entertain the best NASCAR fans in the world, so if you're one of them, hit that subscribe button for the best and latest news on NASCAR. You won't regret it. One of the possible reasons for Spire Motorsports' critical decision to cut LaJoy could be Andretti Motorsports. Just a few days back, Andretti Global expressed their interest in entering NASCAR. Given that one of their partners, Gainbridge, already has a relationship with Spire Motorsports, it could be Andretti's link to enter the sport. Andretti entering NASCAR could open the door for a giant manufacturer to enter as well. Andretti has a rather successful relationship with Honda in the IndyCar series. If Andretti is entering NASCAR, they could compel Honda to do so as well as a fourth manufacturer in the series. Honda has already expressed interest in entering the sport last year, so this is a strong possibility. Throughout the year, there was no shortage of drama coming from the SHR garages. Earlier this year, the team announced that they would no longer continue in this sport after the current season. And then Gene Haas announced that he alone would continue with the name Haas Factory Team from next year. The team will run two cars in the Cup Series and two teams in the Xfinity Series. During the summer break, Rodney Childers spoke about how Tony Stewart completely upset the SHR employees with their announcement. Initially, the employees would have been angry with both owners, but given that Gene Haas is retaining one charter, they were more angry with Tony Stewart. It felt as though Stewart was abandoning his employees, leaving them jobless for the upcoming season. HFT has already named Cole Custer to pilot the HFT car in the Cup Series. However, the team are yet to name the crew chief. Ideally, they would have liked to retain Rodney Childers, but he has already signed a contract to Aspire Motorsports. It's likely that Haas will look to retain one of their other existing crew chiefs or promote from within their team, although the former is more likely to happen. Coming to their HFT teams, the team's new president, Joe Custer, decided that he wants to give Haley Deegan another chance in the NASCAR Xfinity Series, as they will be running with two teams. Here's what Custer had to say. We believe there's more in her and we want to be a part of that. Joe Custer said Saturday in response to a question from NBC Sports about Deegan being a candidate for a Haas factory team ride. But that's for future conversations. Haley Deegan drove this year in the Xfinity Series for AM Racing, which has a technical partnership with SHR. She was let go just days before the Chicago Street Race, as AM Racing did not feel that Deegan was good enough. However, the majority of fans and experts within the NASCAR community feel that AM Racing and Ford were not able to give Deegan the right tools to become successful in motorsport. HFT, on the other hand, still believes in her and is willing to give her another chance in the Xfinity Series. However, Deegan has also been linked with a Roger Large team in the Indy NXT series. The week after she got fired from AM Racing, she was spotted in Iowa for the Indy car race. In addition to this, she also followed Indy NXT and Andretti Global on her Instagram account. This has given indications that she is looking to sign with Andretti's Indy NXT team for the 2025 season. With the upcoming 2025 season, there are a couple of teams looking to buy additional charters. 2311 is one team that has been actively looking to expand ever since they made their debut in 2021. The team entered NASCAR with just one charter. However, after a year, the team expanded to two charters. And then in 2023 and this season, the team has run an unchartered third car in select races and has expressed a lot of interest in purchasing another charter for the upcoming season. However, one of the team's owners, Denny Hamlin, has stated that they cannot proceed to buy another charter without a signed charter agreement between the teams and NASCAR. The current charter agreement between the teams and NASCAR is set to expire after this year. For the new agreement, both the team and NASCAR are looking to add some new details and the negotiations are still ongoing. Here's what Denny Hamlin said about the matter. 
2311 is interested in getting a charter deal done, Hamlin said. We don't right now on January 1st, 2025. We don't even have a charter. So you can't buy or sell something that doesn't exist in our eyes. We have two charters till the end of this year, and until we get a charter agreement done, that's all we have. I mean, I didn't build the factory to stay a two-car team, but it always has to make financial sense. I'm not going to put myself in a position to where I'm having to shell out millions and millions of dollars every year just to keep this thing going. I will not do that personally. So it has to make financial sense, and the charter agreement needs to be better than it is, certainly before I invest any more money in it. Asked if there is a resolution in sight, Hamlin didn't seem so confident. Not from what I've seen, Hamlin said. We got something back last week, but I didn't see anything there that was much different than what we saw in December. It'll be interesting to see how it all comes together, but I can speak for my group, just saying we'd like to get a deal done sooner than later, because certainly it's hard to plan for the future when we don't have a charter agreement, and right now, we don't. Without a contract signed, none of the charters are confirmed for 2025. Ever since SHR announced that they would be selling all four of their charters, 2311 Racing has been speculated to be at the top of the list of potential buyers. However, they cannot purchase a charter without understanding how they can profit from it. With the current contract that has been proposed by NASCAR, teams will find it hard to sustain in the sport. There are only four more races left in this regular season, and the battle for the regular season championship is at its peak. At the moment, Kyle Larson is leading the points table with 749 points. However, this does not guarantee him the regular season championship, as Chase Elliott is second with 739 points, Tyler Reddick with 734 points, and Denny Hamlin with 706 points. All these four drivers have a good shot of leading the points table after these next four races. This driver will naturally get an advantage as the playoffs begin in Atlanta. I'm sure I don't have to talk much about the excitement of the playoffs this year. Unlike other sports where championships can be predicted at times, anything can happen in NASCAR. All it takes is one bad race or one good race, and you win or lose the Cup Series championship. This year, all the Joe Gibbs Racing drivers and the Hendrick Motorsports drivers are capable of winning it all. However, we can't count out the Penske drivers who have been doing well in the second half of the season. After all, Ryan Blaney is the reigning champion of the NASCAR Cup Series. We could also be looking out for some silly season moves in the coming season. It looks as though Ryan Priest will not be racing in the Cup Series next year, as he's not able to get a drive. He is the only one of the current SHR drivers not to have a seat in the Cup Series for next year. This weekend is probably the most anticipated weekend for NASCAR fans in the past few weeks. This weekend we head to the good city of Richmond for an exciting race. Who's your favorite to win the race in Richmond? Post your thoughts in the comment section below.